What's going on, guys? You guys already know who it is. It's Ralph for here, coming through here with your One Throne podcast. Today, we got a little bit of a Tristan Tate action, giving us some game about some red flags, about some things to look out for, about women, what not to do, how to treat them. A lot of good things here. I did watch this video before, and I just want to bring it to you guys to so you can know how to be more gentleman-like. Even though Tristan is a savage, I always say be more kind, be more gentleman it goes a long way. But you guys know, before we get into the video, I'm going to have to beg you guys to like, subscribe, share, do whatever you got to do to make this channel grow. You know, it means a lot more to me than it ever means to you. Just a little tap doesn't hurt nobody. And it's Christmas. Go ahead, give me a little gift. Let's get it, guys. All right, guys. Everybody has asked for it. You're now getting it. I have your guy, Tristan Tate. How you doing, my man? I always I'm like always the way that my boy dress. Yeah. Enjoying Dubai. Having some fun here. Um, you know, living the way I live. Yep. Too much fun. We've had too much fun. No so. such thing. Ah, no <laughs> such thing. So today there, there is a couple points I wanted to cover with you. Um, the first one is a big beef that I actually get in my comments when I talk about being a gentleman. Okay. So I want to start this whole thing off with clarifying because I'll get messages, bro. And they'll be like, you hang out with Tate's. You ought to know that opening doors means you're a sub. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> you have no idea. So I just want you to That's speak sad. to gentleman doors. game when it comes to frame and how and how you run your, you know, your day to day operation. Hey, uh, well, first of all, that's Jay Waller right there. For those of you who don't know, he's another uh, he hangs out with Andrew Tate. He's friends with them. Um, mm -hmm. Cool dude, too. Very intellectual, smart. But damn, my boy sound like he needs some water. Somebody got him some H2O. Damn. You have to clarify what a simp is and what simping is. Being nice isn't simping. To me, I have a very unique uh, description of what simping is. I think it's an unfair exchange of value between a, a man and a woman, usually from coming from a man towards a woman. So giving a woman a bunch of free money, giving a woman a bunch of Instagram likes, giving a yep. woman a bunch of Instagram comments, mm -hmm. that is simping if she's not doing it back to yes, you. Yes, sir. I mean, you'll see yes, me sir. comment, you look beautiful on a girl's Instagram picture, and she'll reply underneath it, you know, I miss you, Tristan. Yeah. That's not simping. <laughs> that is a fair exchange of value. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this guy's a G, man. He's, he's, he's a, don't judge, don't judge a book by his cover. This guy is a fucking lethal weapon. I'm publicly telling people, you know, I've been there. That's that's one of mine. Yeah. And uh, and you know, I get the validation in return. I don't think there's anything wrong. If you're, if you were just some guy waiting at the entrance to a restaurant for any woman to walk past and holding the door open in the hope of getting what? some phone number or something, that that really is simping. That's not simping. But that's uh, no, it's, that's it's an exchange creep. of you're value. Being now. a gentleman is 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 very very important. Yeah. There doesn't have to be a winner. When you're going on a date with a woman and you're looking to sleep with her and she's looking to have a good time, you can both go home happy. Right. You really can. There are, you don't have to feel like you defeated her somehow or you tricked her somehow. And she doesn't need to feel like she used you somehow. Right. No, you can have a wonderful no. evening. You're nice to her. You open the car doors. Right. You know, you buy her a bouquet of flowers. You have dinner. You make love. You go home. She's happy. You're happy. All right. No, not the bouquet of flowers. This is coming from a billionaire. Well, hundreds of millionaire, multi-millionaire who has status and stuff like that. Yes, that's not going to look weak. But if you're on a first date and you buy a girl a bouquet of flowers, first of all, a bouquet of flowers is like 200 bucks. Second, no, you're going to lose that ASAP. So unless you got status and a multimillionaire, one, you're not most likely probably watching this channel, or two, you're not, you don't have that status. So unless you have that status, dog, <laughs> do not buy the flowers. But yeah, I agree. You can open some doors. Then you can delete your phone number if you want, but uh, <laughs> yeah, doesn't need to be a winner. But but you know, and it's super important that I think that you say that, and people hear you say this because I think a lot of guys think that opening doors, buying dinner, grabbing a flower, you know, and I don't grab a lot of flowers, and I haven't seen you grab a lot of flowers, but dinner, sending an Uber, yep, um, opening doors, being polite, guiding her to the table, opening a chair, yeah, you know, do doing those that. type things. Yeah. I've seen you do quite a bit, and it doesn't seem to be broken to me, yeah, cowboy. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, well, essentially, do you want her to have a good time, and do you want her to like you? Uh, I think it's because of the business that I worked in. Uh, people assume that you know me or my brother are very rude to women, or very mean to women, because men can't wrap their head around the fact that there are some men out there who just have beautiful women who want to have sex with them or want to work for them or want to get naked on webcam in their house and make them a bunch of money. Men can't work it out in their mind. So they think I must be doing something mean. I must be right. tricking them, beating them, <laughs> right. getting them addicted to drugs, right. screaming at them, rude to them. Right. But that's 0% that's who I am. 
It's just people who don't understand the frame of being a top tier guy. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with, with being nice. Uh, if, you're, if you're a fat loser at work and you're, you know, buying flowers for all your coworkers and opening yeah. doors there, all right, you're simping. <laughs> and they're making jokes about you behind your back. Unfair exchange of value. Believe me, I get more value by the end of the night than she gets from me because I get her naked in my bed. Right. I'm perfectly happy to open the door. It's wonderful. Yeah. You know, it's beautiful. I want her to have a good time. Yeah. I want her to want to come home with me. And I think we'd all agree I'll open the hell out of some doors for that. Oh, absolutely. You know, no, yeah. pro <laughs> no problem. No problem. And, and Thanks. the big, strong, tough Andrew Tate. Same way, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. He'll yeah. like, no, absolutely. Why would he not open doors? And he's absolutely charming. He's nice and he smiles yeah. and, 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 and he'll pick up a tab or whatever. And I just Yo, if you, if you guys ever genuinely watch an Andrew Tate um, interview and it's with a female, he's always called you. Women always like him there. And like I said, if you guys would have heard bad things about these guys, women will get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to come on podcasts and talk crap about Andrew Tate. And this day, they, women do, will do anything for money, right? Anybody will do anything for money. But you haven't heard yet a woman come out and say anything negative, bad about the Tate brothers or their friends. Just governments have, but never a woman that they have interacted with and has sources and experience. Just, I, think it's, I think that some guys, a lot of guys actually in the space, have an unhealthy idea of what simping versus being a gentleman is yeah. and the value of taking the masculine role as a gentleman as opposed to looking insecure by not. I think, yeah, they see guys like me or you or Andrew as bad guys because they have nothing to give a woman but loyalty. Mm. So they'll look at guys yep. who have multiple women That's like me saying. and they'll think, yep. Tristan's a bad guy. Women like bad guys. Um, and they do. They like top tier guys, and top tier guys tend to like having more than one woman. That's facts. I mean, you work, like I said, you work your whole life up to build that value. And all of a sudden, even though, you know, even broke men do have, but you don't get that top tier woman. When you get your money, you get your status, and you have your charm, you get the top tier woman, the looks, the charisma, the character. Those are the ones he's talking about. But women don't like rude guys. There's no. no universal, I mean, I could probably pull it off if I wanted to, but I wouldn't go on a date and well, not say much, sit on my phone. Well, the, daddy, the, the girls with daddy issue do. Phone, be rude, walk in front of her, make her split the check, and right. expect her to come home and make that's love broke. at the end of the night. No, like, like uh, that certainly is gonna hinder my chances. Yeah. And that's the whole point of going on a date. 50, 50 so dudes. Um, it's just a lack of understanding of what it's like to be a You 50, 50 dudes are dangerous. Stop trying to go 50-50 on a date. Even if she doesn't want to give you pussy, first of all, you shouldn't be taking her out for $250, spending no $250, $300 on one date anyway, on, her, on your first date. So that's your fault if you go and you think you're going to get it. So um, it's just a lack of understanding of what it's like to be a top-tier male. So anytime anyone says any stupid comment like that to you, oh, the tapes wouldn't open doors, or, or why are you opening doors, that's simping, that guy doesn't get laid. You, you know he doesn't. Oh, no. And, or, and, and, he, and look, he holds doors open, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny to me is, like, I already know these things, right? Yeah. So if I get a message and somebody's like, well, I thought you hung out with the Tates. Don't you know better? I'm like, dude, you have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. And so, and that, and that was, to me, I'm like, okay, if me and Tristan are going to do this, let's clarify this. Because I think there's a lot of young guys that haven't really, really gotten deep into dating. They might go in with all the wrong impression mm. and, and yeah. blow a girl out immediately yeah. when it really wasn't that necessary. Yeah, you, you got to chill. You guys got to be chill. Cool comic elective. Funny. Try to be funny. Try to find some funny shit to say. So for trying to be helpful, I think clearing that up is super important. Yeah. And, and another point you touched on that we really should clear up is... Sending an Uber, paying for a taxi, um, you know, hmm, paying for dinner. Right? That's just the way that gender roles have been for sure, the, the, till, for as long as dating has been around. Right. right. Um, I mean, when I was young and flat broke, because people will say, oh, you pay for the Ubers. Or maybe I'll even get a girl a flight ticket to come to Bucharest, to right. come to my house and see me. And people will say that. You see, this is when us, 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 us brokies, we can't relate, right? One, I'm not paying for no flights, not yet at least. Maybe when I'm a millionaire, but I'm not paying for no flights right now simping i'm like well you know for the for the price of the flight ticket yeah you don't know what i'm getting right. but when so i was young and broke tier. um there was obviously no gold digging involved i didn't have uh i slept on a mattress on the floor but if a girl was coming around to see me at night i'd pay for her taxi my last right. five six seven pounds because you know it's seven pounds and i get eight hours of entertainment 
Right. So uh, again, it's a very fair exchange of value. And I think that if you want to act tough and you know hold frame and ask a girl to split a bill or uh, you know make a girl pay for her own taxi and don't right. even offer, if she does go to bed with you, she's a low quality woman. She's just some dickhead hoe who will right. do anything for dick. <laughs> Man, yeah, yeah, I remember this. I remember him. I remember this interview. Fun. Uh, they're they're not boring. Fireworks are out. Yeah. Um, but you know, speaking on being a gentleman, why it's important to be a gentleman on on the light side of it, and then the dark side of it when you have to either con control the frame, be firm, or just flat out let a girl yeah. go. What can you say to that? Well, yo, you guys got to know when to start letting women know. Go. I mean, sorry. Go guys keep them because she's around she got some good pussy nah man if she's bad for you she's bringing negative energy she's making you feel negative she's bringing down your mood not elevating you to a next to the next level not helping you build you guys gotta let that go well you know most of the time i, I i'm always running multiple women at the same time and uh, you Top know i've G. broken up with main chicks and they, they can be messy complicated Top situations G. But a lot of the time, when I break up with a girl who I've been seeing for a few weeks, a few months, um, you know, good girls who've been loyal to me, you know, they are my girlfriend, you know, I've got plenty, but they, they essentially, for all intents and purposes, are my girlfriend. I don't see the reason to burn bridges, one, yeah, two, to create a negative reputation for myself, uh, especially in the city I live in, two, uh, three, to upset people any more than necessary, because if you call a woman every name you want to call her and spit in her face, she's going to forget about you. Yo. Easy. What do you what do you just spit in her face? Yeah, but if you yo, everybody I've seen people in public transportation argue women, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Nah man, what what's the need for all that? Within a day, she's gonna be like, you know what, all that nice time I spent with Tristan, he showed his true colors tonight. Right. That's who he really is. Right. He you're was gonna, faking. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna make that lasting bad impression. Right. I always like to leave with a lasting good impression. And also, you have to understand that when you wanna be a playboy in a certain city, so I live in Bucharest, Romania. Girls will ask girls who slept with me, been with me, spent time with me, they go, what's Tristan like? Oh, he's such a nice guy, had such a good time with him. He just, you know, maybe wasn't ready for something serious. Right. He was and a bit of a cheater, but he was always wonderful. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> what they won't say. Hey, man, when you, when you got, when you status like that, you could cheat. That's what I say, you could cheat. Even broke people cheat, but you're not cheating with women that, his worst woman is probably the woman of my dreams. That's because he's 100 million. When I get 100 mil, I'm going to be there too, though. He is, you know, <laughs> he's psycho. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's a psycho. He threw me out of the house. He, right. You know, because there's there's no advantage to doing that. Now, I live in Eastern Europe, but especially in the Western Eastern world, Europe, you know, you throw a girl at her house, your house and upset her too much, she might just me too your ass. So all these <laughs> tough guys out there who want to treat women bad. Oh, she, they guess that she might just me too your ass. Bro. <laughs> I, I would advise against it in every single way right. and uh and once again you know there there's not a single okay there are but you know there aren't many of my exes that, that i couldn't get back with right. if i tried right uh, and i see it's them a boomerang watch, yeah, they do come back and i see them watch my instagram yeah. stories and as you increase your value and status and influence as a man and you know their value status and influence goes down as a woman right they watch you and i'm gonna actually i'm gonna digress there is a way to get revenge on women Every uh -oh. time any I've, uh oh, uh oh, I've heard anyone say, "Oh, my ex broke up with me. She cheated on me. I need revenge. I need revenge." Come that's back, that's that's sick minded. That's that's right. incel level shit. The only kind of revenge that you can get on a woman is this: ever say goodbye politely, mm -hmm. keep working hard, increase your value as a man. Wait three years, four years, six years, yep. eleven yep. years, and you know this story. Yep. the eleven year story, yep. and wait till you are the man. And yeah. she's just now some chick, mm. 28, 29. Yeah. And she's like, Tristan, you know, it should have always been you. Then you can either tell her no or break her heart again. Yep. Then you win. Yeah. That's the only way to get revenge. <laughs> yeah. you gotta... Oh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. That's the only way you win. That's the only way you get revenge. Got you. I'm taking down notes, man. I'm taking... Got my notepad. I'm taking down notes, Mr. Tate, Mr. Waller. Got you guys. Again, you can follow Jay Waller on his. Uh, again, you can follow Jay Waller on his YouTube. He has a YouTube. Talks about all these things. Awesome dude.
Keep it truly working is. on yourself and keep working on your it status. It truly is. Yeah. yeah and I, you've I, seen me pull that one. I have seen you pull that one. I, I've pulled that one myself a bit. And, uh, you know, there's probably not a better feeling in the world than that. No. Yeah, I agree. All three of my girlfriends I have broken up for, and it's to always achieve something better, you know. Usually girls, even if they're not there asking for things, they still need to be provided for and looked after, and that's a lot of energy and money. And when I'm focused on my goals, I need to be 100% dialed in focus, not worried about how I'm treating another person, another, another woman, feeding her, paying for stuff. So... I will be, you know, in a relationship soon. You know, I got my little roster, but uh, right now, girls, girlfriends are expensive. But, um, you know, there's something else I want to go to on this because a lot of guys will look at you and say, okay, well, he's 6'4", handsome as fuck, like good beard, four? rich, his brother's aunt. 6'4", I thought he was like 6'2", or some shit, 6'4". Damn, these motherfuckers is tall. Shout out Andrew Tate's pops. Passed on some dope jeans. Andrew, but I, I actually have a lot to say about that because there's another five, version of you that either lives in Luton or lives in the States yeah, in that's fat as fuck yep. on the back of a garbage truck or working in some kind of facility. Or skinny as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, what do you say about the guys that think they have no hope and give up? Because I'm a firm, firm, firm believer. Okay, maybe you're not Tristan Tate. Fine. Maybe you're not six foot three. I don't give up. But for God's sakes, man, you're probably somewhere that's in a good spot. Mm -hmm. And and I would much rather live in Indiana and be the king of my town and have like three or four girlfriends that maybe are seven or eights and completely check out the game completely. And I'd love to hear what you have to say about that as well. You don't have to be the king of a town to have. I mean, unless you live in a small ass town of 300 people. But me, I live in New York City. I don't have to be no king. That's too much noise. I don't want, I don't like that much noise. I like to keep my shit low key, and that's the best way to go about it. Keep it low key, keep it chill, keep it relaxed. Don't be out here wanting to be the king of shit. Unless you know, you're the Tates and you got security walking with you. But you know, usually in New York City, being too loud, that's a problem. Well, like you said, I mean, the six foot four thing, fine. I would have been tall regardless. Right. I would have been six foot four. But if I was a really skinny dude who, you know, had no money, sat at home playing my Xbox, kings. you know, I'd have no receipts on social media. No one would know who I was. You know, I'd probably have a patchy beard because of low testosterone because I've never done any training in my life. That guy's not getting laid. 6'4 right. or no 6'4. And what people don't want to hear is that to become Tristan Tate was a slow process of hard work that took me. <laughs> hey, I just <laughs> What you mean? You miss a... <laughs> You got a patchy beard because low testosterone. I told you guys, man, stop jerking off. You got to build that testosterone. You're going to be a bull. 15 years, <laughs> and I'm still working on myself. I think the Tristan Tate in three or four years is going to be a much better version of who I am now. Right. Um, and what a lot of people want to do is, you know, blame, blame their circumstances, but they don't understand that. I mean, height aside, you could change every circumstance about you. Mm -hmm. You could change how handsome you are. Mm -hmm. You could change how fit you are, how strong mm -hmm. you are, how rich mm -hmm. you are, how smart mm -hmm. you are. I'll talk to women about intellectual things and, you know, uh, you know, books I've read and, uh, you know, history. And so, you know, I, right. I love this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I love history, too. When I read my stuff, I'm reading uh, historical books or uh, bibliographies or um, self-improvement books. Right now, I'm reading How to Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Yo, go get that book, guys. Read it. And you must read about two, three, four times. I've only read it one I'm more I'm almost finished with it and as soon as I'm done with it I'm gonna go back and read every single word again then do it again until I understand and grasp every information because that inform that book alone you can pass down to your generation that that book alone the information in that book alone you can pass down to your kids your kids kids your kids kids it is such so knowledgeable and motivating I love that book go pick it up guys but but why do I know all that I couldn't afford a university education I educated myself. So a lot of the things women like about me, my height aside, um, you know, I, I created for myself. And I would much rather have everything else. So you dudes who are out there who are five for eight, why aren't you jacked and smart and rich and driving a fucking Lamborghini, you know, and charming and funny? And, you know, why aren't you? Yo, I'm literally all that. I'm five foot nine. I'm literally all that besides rich. I'm rich in spirit. I'm rich in love. But I ain't Lamborghini rich yet. Give me one year, guys. One year. I will have a Lamborghini. It's on my board. I'm going to show you guys. 
one year I will have a Lamborghini Uros in my garage, guaranteed. Right. But what you'll have none of those things, and you'll be like, oh yeah, Tristan, well you're six four, as though everything else wasn't a wasn't my own creation. Get to work. work it Get was. to work. When it, when it comes to to becoming the best version of your of yourself, and the thought of let's say you're five ten, you live in Indiana. Um, you have less than 250,000 people in your little town. Mm -hmm. There's got to be three women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That a Louisiana nine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> which is an inside joke. Yeah. But look, bro, if it's brown, it's down, which is another, <laughs> it's another inside joke. Any hunter oh. would get that. But yeah. the, the thing is, is like, I, I don't think that, that brown you would, if, if you were from a town like that, and you didn't have some other expectations, you could be more than happy mm. living that life, uh, being the man in your town. You've maximized everything about you. You don't have to live in Miami, per se, mm. to really Damn have Mike. a good life, to really have a rotation of women that you care about, um, which is something that you're obviously really, really good at. And the reason I think you're good at that, and that's kind of what I'm leading to with this, is that those women stay with you to be completely frank, in my opinion, because they would have one hell of a fucking time replacing you. Hypergamy. A lot of the time, I think so. But, so, you're, but you're forgetting something with your, with your story about what if I lived in this small town? What if, what if? Right. I lived in a tiny ass town. Right. Well, it wasn't tiny, yeah. but it was horrible. And there's right. very few hot women in Luton, England. And I lived on a council right. estate Luton, and I was Luton, flat broke. Right. And what did I do? I was at the gym five hours a day. Started winning kickboxing fights. Word around town got out that I was right. on my way up. Started doing well. I had pretty girlfriends way before. I wasn't a millionaire until I was 28 years old. Lucky. I've had pretty girlfriends since I was 17, 18, 19. Because I've always been hardworking and on my way up. And I didn't live in Bucharest or Dubai or, you know, or London. No supercars. Yeah, or, yeah, or these, these wonderful cities with all the women. I lived in a horrible little town, right. but there were some beautiful, nice women who lived in that town. Right. And I found them. Right. Hey, man, that's facts. You don't have to be rich to get a good girl to get girls. You, but please, work on your charm. And like Tristan Tate and Jay Waller said, if you're not gifted with height, Yo, you have to work on your other attributes. If you're home, fat, jerking off, playing video games, not doing anything with your life, you're going to be a loser. You are a loser. You have to get up off that couch, get up off your ass. If you have a 9 to 5, that's not enough. You have to find a way to do more, get yourself better income. Unless your 9 to 5 is making money, but still, we are not here to work 9 to 5s, guys. 9 to 5s is a good base. So you can structure your way out of that and work your own stuff, make your own money, your own time. But yeah, you don't have to be rich to get girls. But if you want the top tiers, if you want the best ones, you do got to get your value up. Especially if you're short man, short guys. Like I said, I am a short man. I believe 5'10 is the average male height. I'm 5'9". I believe I'm a little shorter. So please, I work on all my other attributes. I'm a bit funny. Probably not funny here on YouTube, but you know, with the ladies, when it's time to turn the charm on, the charm turns on. With who I want, though. Not all the ladies got the charm. With who I want. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Don't burn your bridges. Yeah. Um, and it's advice I give to young men all the time. Young men are like, uh, especially when, I mean, your main chick's different. I guess you can, you know, emotion could stir up when it's a girl you really love. But there, there'll be girls who, a guy's just banging. And <laughs> she'll be like, oh, well, I found out she has another guy. I'm like... She's some hoes you're banging. Right. Facts. Hoes are, hoes are collective property almost. Right. <laughs> I hate when people, and this is a very quick bit of... Not even because collective properties go up in value with time. Hoes value go up with time? Sorry, not even that. <laughs> advice for the young men out there i hate when people say oh, i've got my main chick i've got two side chicks no ah, yeah, no we've, we've talked about yeah this. a yeah. side chick is as much in love with you and loyal to you as any main chick right. she is your girlfriend she wouldn't look at another man she's loyal to you she sends you good night messages every single night and writes you love letters and cooks your meals that's what a side chick is damn sound like a sound like a good joy to be it sound like a wifey fuck so what's your main joy let's hear it most people have hoes and hoes the numbers don't add up if every right. dude had 25 hoes. Hoes right. are collective right. property. Most hoes right. who you're banging have other guys who they go see sometimes. You don't have side chicks. I've got a nice collection of side chicks. I've got my main <laughs> chick, and I've got hoes. But I know who's who. <laughs> I know who's who. But <laughs>
And you know what's crazy? All his girls watch this. Of course. They got nothing else. They're not going to be, they're not cheating at home. They're watching this and they're like, all right. Uh, don't ever waste emotion on a hoe, guys. She upsets you. She's been seeing some other dudes. She, she's at some party in some club. You just say, you know what? I'm sorry it's come down to this. <laughs> There's so many wrangles that you're gonna miss. Facts, man. No, but you can, you can hit him with, you know what? I didn't know you were that type of girl. You're partying in the club. I don't see this yeah. going anywhere. Good Red flag. You don't have to literally use the Red song flags. lyrics. You could, yeah. you could politely say something like that. And that's been my approach for years. Because when you want to wrangle and you want 50 girls at the, the, at the table, you're going to call all your old hoes. And all my hoes, all my ex-hoes love me. It's the ex-girlfriends who hate me. But, <laughs> yeah, because it burns. It burns. Yeah. But you know, Let you just burn. said, I didn't plan on going this Let route, but I do burn. think it's very, very important. And, and my goal is to be as helpful as burn. I possibly can be. And yeah. I know that you are the same way. So exp uh, uh, to me, the difference between ha what happiness is, is the, is the gap between expectation and reality. Yeah. And so for a young man, a lot of times I think that he doesn't have the consciousness to see that the girl is a hoe. Yes. So he lets his feelings get involved on accident. It's not so much that he's a pussy, yeah. it's that he doesn't know. Yeah. So can you kind of go through the things that you look for within a woman that allow oh, you to flex. identify her as hoe or a chick that you really want to put some kind of effort or care into? Nice, nice. We're about to get into the red flags here. Let's get it. Let's hear it. Well, what you have to understand is I've got I've got a radar for this. <laughs> I've been doing this. Forever. Radar. And keep in mind, I've worked called. in the adult entertainment industry. I know which girls are up to no good and which mm -hmm. girls aren't. Me too. I can look at a girl's tagged photos or travel locations, who she's standing with. So, um, but that's one of them. Yeah. That's definitely one of that's them. So talk cool. about that. Look at a girl's Instagram. Let's go through the thought of looking through a girl's Instagram mm. saying, okay, what'd she say her job is? She's a crypto trader. Crypto trader, my fucking ass. Mm -hmm. She's in eight cities at a time. What is she doing? Exactly. That's what I say, guys. Instagrams nowadays, it's cool for a girl to have them. Me, if I'm getting into a serious relationship with a girl, nah, it's a, it's a, it's a non-negotiable. We both won't have unless it's strictly business. We showing products and stuff, but I can't really, I can't really have my girlfriend that I'm taking serious on the biggest dating app in the world, especially if she's turning around showing them booty pics, bikini pics, doing them squats in the gym. Flying to eight, yeah, they're about to say it, but yeah, those are like I said, those are my red flags, man, too. Well, I mean, I was at a hotel the other day here in Dubai, and a, a, a lovely girl approached me uh, from Romania and she goes, Oh, hi, Tristan, I didn't know you were here. I was like, Oh, hi, good to see you. I said, Well, you know, nice to meet you. I got, I got to speaking with her, and she told me that she was working in real estate, etc. And I said, So, where do you live? She goes, Oh, I live here at this hotel. I'm like, You live at the Ritz Carlton Dubai? She Ritz goes, Yeah, yeah I live here. In Dubai. Now, I know because I'm sleeping there, that's two thousand dollars a night. Mm -hmm. So, I know the cheapest room's a thousand bucks a night. Right. So I'm like, real estate must be paying well yeah. to, to pay your, what, $365,000 a year yeah. rent. Like, just the hell of a portfolio you have there, young lady. Just say that your sugar daddy pays your rent and you hook yeah. on the side. Just tell me. Because <laughs> I'm not, you know. I'm, that, sounds, that, sounds, that sounds like the boxes. That sounds like the boxes. No problem banging you. I ain't going to pay you any money. I ain't got no problem taking you to bed. But when you, when you talk to me like I'm stupid, that's a red flag. Right. So, uh, yeah, you could tell from a woman's Instagram, from a woman's travel destinations. And, and this, we do teach all this inside the war room. Inside of the, you know, people consult the, the, you know, us about this kind of stuff all the time. I'm glad you said but, that because, you know, we're about to do a really big event in Colombia mm. going over all of these different things. Niggas, going, niggas doing an event in Colombia. Yo, what are they trying to do over there? That shit. Only one thing goes down in, with Americans in Colombia. Millionaires? Oh my lord, that's that event is about to be. <laughs> I can't even say it. Things <laughs> from identifying a girl, getting your dating apps right, yeah. getting your Instagram <laughs> right, uh, text game, how to text. We're actually mm. going to teach guys live how to text. Yeah. Yeah. And and to pull the wrangle yeah. itself. Live demonstration. So if you want to be in Colombia, it's war room only. But uh, message yep. Justin and uh, let's yep. make it happen. I'll see you guys there. Yeah. Hit me up on uh, hit me up on Instagram, Jay Waller Seven, and uh, we'll probably I'll 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 kind of screen you a little bit and then get you over to the business account. But you know it's going to be one of the best events we've ever done. Yeah. And it, I think you'd be surprised at what the price is um, and what the value is. And yeah. and then if you do it. Uh, obviously, it would come with a war room membership. The price. I wonder if uh, with this little advertisement going on, I wonder. I'm sure it already passed, but I wonder if they have some videos of this. Oh, is the summit plus the war room? But I think you'd be surprised at, surprised at what the value. I'll be there to like network mainly. Always network. I'm always trying to network, but you know, at night, ooh, yeah. Let's let's do it. And then in the morning, network some more.
are you is behind it. So hit me up on Instagram, jwaller7, and of course, follow the talisman yep. on uh, Instagram as well. Go ahead. Follow anyway, those back guys. To point. Yeah, there was one last point I was going to make on this when it comes, and this is something I've said on another podcast, but we've got a virgin audience and a lot of people won't have uh, seen me before <laughs> here. Uh, when I mean I have a black belt, I have a real professional eye for who's up to no good and who isn't, who's a good girl and who isn't. I was speaking to a, a member of staff of yours recently, and um, you know, I was dating some girl, and her WhatsApp profile picture was a picture of me and her kissing. And I was like, well, that's a very good sign. Because, good sign. Yeah, there's lots yeah. of dudes on it. I mean, the breakup's already happened with her, yeah. but there, you know, there's lots of dudes you know, who are trying to WhatsApp her, etc. but it's a picture of me there kissing her in her WhatsApp inbox, and I know she only has one phone. Good sign. But I, one of the smallest micro details I can tell you is I once took a girl, a girl who's now my main chick, I once took her to a hotel. In, uh, yeah, that's crazy. He just be talking about main chicks. Just, I wonder how many girlfriends he has in a year. Uh, in another country. So it was one of her first trips abroad. And uh, she opens up her suitcase. We're at a five-star hotel, $2,000 a night. Right. I've decided to take her with me. I've known the girl a year. Right. Wonderful woman. Oaks opens up her suitcase, and there's a big-ass hair dryer in her suitcase. I was like, <laughs> hair dryer in your suitcase? Yeah, now, for you guys lis listening at home, you'd be like, what yeah, does that this mean? Is, this, is, this is interesting. This is, listen up. Listen up, virgins. Everybody knows that every five-star hotel has a hair dryer attached in the bathroom. So this girl hasn't been hanging out ever in yeah. any luxury five-star hotels. She's just the simple yeah. girl who she told me she was. Because what girl would pack a hair dryer? Facts. Everyone knows if every five-star yeah. hotel has one. She would he, know. But she didn't know. She didn't know. Because that was her first time at a five-star hotel. That was her first time on a, on a luxury trip at a place like that. And uh, it, it's the micro details that you have to look for. But you know, that comes with experience. You know a big one that, that I look for, and, and I know that you actually look for too because we've talked about it, is does she or can she travel at will? Because if she has a real job, Ooh. she can't travel at will. You see, that's why the traveling on Instagram is a red flag because she has a real job. She just can't be taking 8,000 trips a day, a week, a year. That's too much. Wait, wait, what you doing in Dubai? Next week you're in Spain. Next week you're in Morocco. How? And if she has a real job, that means that somebody is likely not funding her lifestyle. Yes, absolutely. You know, didn't you meet uh, one of your main girls or maybe a side girl? She works at a mall or something like that? Yeah, right. and absolutely. She works. She works. And I can't see her as much as I like. She works at, uh, at a, in a high fashion store. For, let's, let's, let's say Cartier. It's a store like that. Yeah. But um, I'm not going to say the exact store because people might work out who it is. But yeah, she works at a Cartier store. She works 12, 13 hours a day. I'll be like, I want to see you tonight. No, I can't. No, I can't. I'm at work. Selfie, right. selfie. I've seen them all. I've seen where she works. Right. That's a very good sign as well. Right. You know, girls who are free all the time, they're always available. Yeah, yeah. You know, she, if you're always available and you're always free, you better be dressed in rags and wearing flat ass, cheap plimsoll right. style shoes. <laughs> if, you're, if you turn up in $4,000 shoes, right. but you're free all the time, I know what you're doing, right. you know? Yeah. So keep your eyes open, yeah. young guys. And, uh, and when you get a girl like this and get her into bed, you know, you've profiled her, you know what she's about. Enjoy your time with her. Be polite, be a gentleman, send her on her way. You know, don't fall head over heels uh, with girls like this because mm -hmm. those are the ones who, as you said, the naive guys are going to break their hearts right. on. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. There you you go. Guys will get fucked up over that too. And, yeah. And don't be surprised if a girl like that wants to even use you for dinner or whatever. Just make sure your expectation is right and then your reality won't be far from it. And so you can't get too terribly upset because you kind of know what's coming. Absolutely. I think when you, when you get hit by a punch, you don't see coming. It's the ones that really hurt. Absolutely. You know, so. Those are the knockout punches, the ones that you don't see coming. Those are the ones that will knock you the fuck out, that will hurt you the hardest. Um, just a little advice for you guys on um, on how to set your expectations in the right way because, you know. Expectations you can, uh, and boundaries. Like I'm that. always talking about it. Set them shit to it, early. It fucks your work up. fucks everything up. It does. You know? and, so. and, and it's a losing battle. You can be You can be tall, strong, fit, smart, the best guy in bed who she's ever had. But if some short, fat nerd is her payday, when push comes to shove, she isn't choosing you. Mm -hmm. If some dude's paying her 10 grand a month to suck his dick every couple of weeks, when you say, listen, I want you to be completely loyal to me, come live with me, it's just me and you, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be Justin Waller, but Justin Waller isn't paying her 10 grand a month, and, but, you know, Mohammed might be. So, you know, she's, she, you're going to lose that. Because Mohammed will. Battle, nonetheless. Uh, because these girls who are all about having guys finance their lifestyle who've fallen into this, you know, that, that, yep. that's all they're about. Mm. So, you know, keep your eyes open. There's nothing you did particularly wrong. Right, yeah, that's, you're not, you're that's not, what you, I was about yeah. to say. There's nothing you can do. It's yeah. not mm -hmm. you. Exactly. It's, it's not you. It's right. just, you know, and, and, and you could be twice the man that he is, mm -hmm. but he's paying. And, uh, you know, don't be a customer. It's better to walk away with your dignity.
Wow, such a hit in the button. Do not be a customer to these women and then wife them up. You guys are crazy. They're not into you. They don't love you. Okay, the all these men that you see on podcasts, uh, simping and um, paying women, having girlfriends on OnlyFans. Are you crazy? Come on, we're better than that. We're a lot better than that. And and look, man, especially for those guys that live out in places that are not the the Miami. L.A., New York City, um, big, you know, Austin, things like that. Man, you have a really good shot at finding a good woman. All this shit on the internet, um, you know, you see a lot of these podcasts where you, all you see is these really, really, really trash girls. Those trash girls are in very, very Populated crowded yep. demographic cities that yep. those type of girls are in. I Facts. think the average girl across America and probably Eastern Europe is really a good good-hearted in a way now there's still female nature that you have to overcome and you still need to be that guy but the the girl that would pass on a guy a good man for 10 grand that's just that's just her and i think those girls are mostly in the bigger cities yeah like dubai yeah Yeah, absolutely you know (laughs) and uh i know i'm the kind of guy that that i don't like this doom and gloom sad version of reality i mean dubai think about it bro you got a billionaire these these guys are billionaires just will buy you will buy you by just meeting them something. Take you shopping easy. It's, it's fun over there, I, I heard. Ali, where all women right. are garbage, because I know some wonderful women, and right. I've met some wonderful women right. Absolutely. Uh, in my lifetime. Absolutely. And uh, no, yeah. really. Wonderful women in my life, right? Absolutely. And, 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 and the thing is, it, you know, a lot of the guys who are out there screaming that the fact that good women don't exist, as I said, they don't exist for them. Mm-hmm. And if they don't exist for you, become the guy they exist for. Keep climbing mm-hmm. that ladder and you'll find one. I absolutely mm-hmm. promise you. Clutch. They're out there. And that's wonderful. Um, I tell you what, that's probably a good place to wrap. I do want to go over a little. Bit. Wow. Yeah, guys. So I tell. So that's why I tell you guys. You guys have to. You know, you don't have to be the richest man, but you do have to establish your characteristics, your best self. Get yourself in shape. If us, us shorter guys, you know, us short kings, we gotta be, develop our other characteristics. Our charm, funny, all men. But you know, some them tall men got a little advantage because when you walk in a room, you take up space. But as soon as somebody like me start making them laugh, start charming them, and I could dance too. Little bachata, ding, 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 little merengue. Nice with it. Don't tempt me. Don't play with me on the dance floor. I get it. All right? But again, I appreciate you guys so, so much for liking. Please let me know what you think about the video in the comments below. And I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Again, please like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel so I can continue making these awesome videos. I love making these videos for anyone who's watching. So please have a great one. Have great holidays. Be safe. Be good. Stay cheerful, guys. Stay consistent.